What's going on, everyone? This is Brent Swanson from Midwest Muscle Report, here with Big Nate Spear, winner of the heavyweight class of this year's 2016 NPC Junior USA's. How we doing, Nate? Good. How you doing tonight? Good. Really, really good. Um, so, you just want, coming off, fresh off your win at the Junior USA's, kind of take us through the weekend and take us through the uh, whole process. Oh, man. So, uh, <clears throat> me and my girlfriend flew down. Thursday and like I'm from New Hampshire a really small town <laughs> so it was like a really great experience to like go into the big Charlestown sort of like a big city for for us you know what I mean and uh we've never really traveled like that for a show it's always been sort of local uh drive like two or three hours <clears throat> so the experience was totally different like I froze all my food and stuff like that and brought it on the plane and like it was like a total different preparation I guess you'd say um, and then we got down there and the venue is like massive. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. uh, I was Snapchatting like to all my friends, like the venue, I was like, this place is huge. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, <laughs> it was just really exciting. And then you see like people that you've been following on like Facebook and Instagram and like people that have already won like other big shows and you're like, Oh, like I was like, Oh, there's Seth Shaw and like, you know, like blah, blah, blah. And like people you've been following that you have a lot of respect for their physiques and usually at, like, regional shows, it's not really like that, you know what I mean? Right. So now, um, for many of you probably uh, don't know Nate, because this is his first uh, national show, but I tell you what, man, looking at your pictures, you brought an awesome physique, um, very, very well balanced. Uh, you don't really have that many flaws as far as symmetry-wise. Everything's very well put together, and I think the number one thing that I always look for in competitors, and you definitely have nailed down, is your conditioning. Um, has the conditioning aspect always come easy for you, or is that something that you just really have to, you know, work hard to achieve that grainy but look? Uh, I wish I could tell you, like, I did two hours of cardio a day, like a thousand calories a day. Uh, but I don't know, it just sort of comes naturally. Like, um, when we first started my prep, we started a 20 week, uh, prep. It's first time ever with my coach, Andrew Barry. And like, we were probably at like 3,200 calories to start at. <clears throat> and like, I was dropping weight, like really quick, you know? Right. And so what we pretty much did was we reverse dieted until about, I would say 14 to 12 weeks out from the show <clears throat> until we got up to about 3,700 calories, um, and about 500 carbs, really high carb diet. And my body just responded really well. It got like fuller and harder as I started to lean out. And, um, we really didn't do any cardio until about three weeks out from junior USA's. Um, and we really didn't do anything as far as like carb cycling, etc. We just pretty much kept everything really basic and consistent. And my body just seemed to respond very, very well. <laughs> That's awesome. That's very cool. Uh, what's the lowest uh, caloric intake that you were at? Was the 3,200 the lowest that you were at and then you consistently added? Or the last few weeks, did you ever pull back and get lower than the 3,200? So before the Junior USA's, I already did three shows, um, three regional shows. And after at that point, we sort of, wanted to bring something a little bit uh, my condition was already very good but we almost were like all right we're doing a national level show we really want to make sure we hit the mark so after the last show i did before junior usa's was the cutler classic um we did like a little bit of a carb cycle so we did a uh, refeed day and then like every three days we just took carbs around my workout like pre and post and I'd do like an intra shake. <clears throat> so probably roughly around 120 carbs for those days, which is like super low for me. And then we would do another refeed. So, and that my body fat was like almost like melting off at that point. And like, I would be like super dry because I wasn't used to like low carbs like that, I guess you'd say. Right. When that response, my water would like retention would be a lot less, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, to give us an idea, what did you weigh in at Junior USA's uh, versus the three previous shows that you did leading up to it? Uh, so this is actually sort of weird. So the first show I probably weighed in at, the first show I did was April 9th. That was the Connecticut Montanary Powerhouse Brothers show. I weighed in about 218. And then I did a show a week after that, the Vermont State Championships which was April 16th, and I weighed about 215, 
And then for the Cutler Classic, I weighed about 213, um, which was two weeks after the Vermont show. And then three weeks after the Cutler Classic show was Junior USA's, and I weighed 223. <laughs> if that makes any sense, I don't know how, but <laughs> and I was like just as lean, so it was really weird. Right. Now, in all those shows and competing, do you feel like you have a favorite look of those four shows? I mean, did you peak for the Junior USA's, or do you feel like that you looked a little bit better at any of the other shows? Um, I think I looked my driest and my most conditioned at Junior USA's. It's hard because when you look at pictures, you never know because the lighting and the Correct. photographer, et cetera. Like the Vermont show, they had a really good photographer. And if you look at my profile picture, that's from the Vermont show, and it looks ridiculous. Yeah, and then, like, right. some other shows, like, I know how good I look, but then the pictures don't really do it justice. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I would say I was probably, like, the, the fullest, like, fullest look was probably, like, Vermont. And then probably my, like, driest, like, best conditioning was Junior USA's, I'd say. Great. Well, you definitely peaked for the uh, correct show then. Um, yeah. Now, something that we got to tell everybody, because they might not know about you, is that you're a general manager at a pizza place, correct? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> How in the world do you do your lifestyle and do that? Is it ever a temptation, or is it one of those play things that, you know, you work there, so it's food looks disgusting to you or how does that work out man <laughs> oh man it's definitely hard um because i really like pizza <laughs> so it's not like it's disgusting i'm definitely a fat kid at heart like when i'm not like uh in contest prep i can definitely be like not consistent um but for me it's like once i get under like a week and a half two weeks into contest prep it's like everything's sort of rocking and rolling like you know what i mean it's very consistent i stay super on track. Like I never cheated on my diet once. Like we had, uh, like free or free meals or cheat meals. Like my coach would give me, you know what I mean? Right. When I like started coming in flat or whatever. But as far as like falling off the program, not once. <clears throat> um, it's just like, for me is like, once you, I think a lot of bodybuilders can agree. Once you sort of get that flow of like contest prep and like everything is just like on a, you don't miss a beat. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just like, do it. yeah, it's same thing with like, just everyday life. It's like when you're doing contest prep, it's like you're up at five in the morning, like getting stuff done. Like you're just like a whole different person. But then when you're in off season, you're like slow and lazy and you're like, <laughs> I don't want to do this. You know, <laughs> I definitely relate. I'm the exact same way. Um, that's great. Now. Um, so the plan is for you then, as we were talking earlier, you plan on doing nationals this year, correct? Yeah. So we're uh, probably looking at doing nationals at the end, at the end of November. And probably trying to stay in the heavyweight class because obviously at super heavyweights, it's super competitive at that level. And like you have to be a monster. Oh. So <laughs> the yeah. plan would be like stick, try to stick right at the top of the heavy still. Um, it would probably be a little bit more of a process to stay with that weight because obviously for me, I'm like very hyper responsive. Um, like when we started my prep, I was at 235 and like soft. And like when I ended, I was like 225. So I was like, I was growing like as the prep one. Right. So it's something to be like careful if I'm trying to do nationals and stay in a heavyweight class <clears throat> like that. I don't get too, it's almost like I got to restrict my growth a little bit to be competitive. Right. right. So I would almost rather win my pro card as a heavyweight than not win it as a super heavyweight and then right. grow once you get the card. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I definitely understand what you're saying. Um, now, you know, you have, you have a few months before nationals. Um, what, you know, as bodybuilders, we're always very critical of ourselves when we always want to become better. What is the number one area that you're going to be focusing on between now and nationals in order to bring up? Or do you just want to bring everything up? Or kind of what is the game plan coming forward? Um, my legs have always sort of been the slower growing area. Um, like they look good in the shots, but I'd say my hamstrings from the back and like the abductor region like when you hit like a back double bicep or a rear lat spread, like that middle section can be sort of missing on a lot of people. It tends to be missing a little bit with me. And that's like being, very, like you said, very critical. And then also like lower lat area, just so you always want that tie in to be deeper. Right. Um, and then upper chest. So like, cause my shoulders and my arms are so big, <clears throat> it can sort of like make my chest a little, a little smaller, you know? And I think that's very, um, 
I think that's very common too, you know, as you're in contest dieting, you know, um, I know for a lot of bodybuilders, the first thing that'll flatten out is the chest and the upper chest area as well. So, um, yeah, like I said, uh, we're super proud of you here at Midwest Muscle Report for winning, and there's definitely going to be great things um, in store ahead for you, and we'll um, continue to uh, follow your progress and do some check-ins, and uh, we'll uh, continue to root for you and be here for you, man. Um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for your time tonight, and this is Brent Swanson from Midwest Muscle Report. Have a good night.